Praise God, my name is Betty from Kenya. Today I've been blessed to be a part of what God is doing in Alleluia Ministries. I was blessed to hear through the man of God exactly what has been happening in our family. And it has really moved me about my, my health and the suppression that I've been going through. And even went deeper to things I didn't even expect in my family, my late brother, exactly what was happening, and even picked out one of my children who I used to wonder, I found like there was something going on and I couldn't understand, but now I know exactly what was happening. And God has revealed through the man of God the instructions that I should follow. And I really thank God for him. He's very anointed and a blessing. And um, it is just God who opened this door because how I got to know about the man of God is through my mother who got her healing through watching Hallelujah Ministries on television. I really thank God because she received her healing and she pushed me to come and get my healing in South Africa. Pastor Alf ministers over the sister's life in the spirit and releases declarations over her while sealing her deliverance. I'm seeing, I'm seeing, I'm seeing something. If it was not because of a praying spirit, you could have not been standing here. They had planned, set to take you away. Boko Toshia. But the grace of God, the grace of God. Who's Anna? My mom. Your mom is Anna. Yes. She's praying for you. Yes. She She's the one who sent me here. She got healed through watching you. And she called me and told me she, I have to come to South Africa. Oh. My mom, Hannah. She got Come to South healed. Africa. You're not part of South she Africa. She got healed. I'm, not, I'm from Kenya. What was wrong with your mom? She watched us and got a healing through television. She couldn't move her hand. She could not move it. Yes. So now I went to see her. I'd gone home because I'd become very sick. I can't do anything anymore. And I decided to go and stay with her at home. And I got her a dish so that I can she can watch the Christian channels I used to watch. When I came back, she told me, I'm not watching what you wanted. I have found something. Jesus. And she told me she's healed. So she told me, I'm coming to take care of your children. You go to, the healing is in South Africa. You're going. So this is the first time you're here. I arrived this morning. You have arrived this morning. So you came for church. Yes, just for church. You came just for church. Yes. In fact, my husband told me, I don't believe all this because we've prayed so long, but I don't know why I'm just taking you. I will support you. Just go. Oh, yeah. he's a good man. Yeah. Samson. Yes, my husband. Samson is your husband. But let me tell you, let, let me tell you what it has, is happening with you. The enemy had laid trap against you and your family. That's why mysterious things have been happening. And the oppression of the enemy is being heavy. You're seeking help left and right. And it has been difficult. I pray this God that today may be the last bus stop of your life. You're fighting. Your dream oppressed. It's like us. the enemy is oppressing you. You feel it. 
You feel it physically, you see it in your dreams. It's true. Mm. Even as I'm speaking like this, the Spirit of God is just showing me areas of your life that uh, I should touch, I should pray for you, pray for your body. Healing will take place. But as I pray for you, I need to pray also for Anne Marie. Anne Marie. My daughter, my firstborn daughter. Your firstborn. I should also pray for Patrick. My second born, the son. I should also pray for Catherine. That's the baby. So you have one son. One son. This child, as you go back home, you should anoint the child. Because the grace of God is upon this child. But the enemy is attacking Patrick. It is true. It is Ouch. True. You should anoint the child and pray for this child. The Lord has a plan for him. So that whatever you're going through may not reach him. Yes. Pray and declare words over Patrick's life, Patrick's health, Patrick's tomorrow, future. Are you hearing me? Yes. And as I pray for you, the Lord I serve will reach out. You see, a lot of calamities have been happening in your family. Henry, Henry, Henry. Yes, my brother. My late brother, he just fell and died. What? He just fell and died. Is your late brother? Yes. He fell and died? Yes, he fell and died. He fell in the farm. And the doctors did the wrong things. He was given the wrong treatment, taken to the theater. And the doctor who was doing the surgery took off from theater to ICU. He died. died. See, I always say to you, everything that happens in the natural realm has a reference in the spiritual realm. You can literally trace the happenings of the natural to the spirit. That's why our forefathers understood it so well that if you sneeze in a certain time, they say, no, 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 you can't sneeze just like this. There is something that is causing it. Everything in the visible world has a reference in the invisible world. Everything in the natural realm has a reference in the spiritual realm. You don't just fall and die. That will never be your portion in the name of Jesus. Amen. 10th of August. My birthday. Your birthday. Yes. The 10th of August. Yes. Skarobosha. Lift your hand. She came today from Kenya. Seeking God. Trusting God. I want you to begin to pray against every power and every force. Everybody stand up. Pray. Pray against Zofu. The prophetic mantle of Pastor Alf Lukau is undoubtable. The God of Pastor Alf shows up to bless. A free girl. A free, 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 free. Pray, call on fire. What you make happen for her, God will make it happen for you. Pray, pray for her. Keep on praying, keep on praying. Keep on praying. I thank God. What I've experienced today, it is God. God is in this place. And I know my healing has come. It is the end. I'm free. I am free. I'm liberated in Jesus' name. What has happened to me, I've never imagined or even had anything that feels like that. I just thank God for the anointing and the presence that is in this place.